Our universe is a mind-boggling place, filled with mysteries both big and small. Today, we're diving into the strange world of subatomic particles, specifically the electron. We know there are trillions, maybe even quintillions of them, but what if that wasn't quite true? What if, according to a mind-bending theory, there's only one electron, zipping through time itself? Electrons are the tiny workhorses of the atom, constantly buzzing around the nucleus. They're incredibly important, influencing everything from the light we see to the way materials conduct electricity. But here's the weird part. Every single electron seems identical. They all have the same negative charge, the same mass, it's like they're all part of some cosmic copy-paste job. Adding another layer to the mystery, electrons have evil twins, positrons. These antimatter particles are identical to electrons in almost every way, except they have a positive charge. This begs the question, why are these fundamental particles so similar, yet opposite? Enter John Wheeler, a brilliant physicist with a penchant for audacious ideas. In a now-famous phone call with his former student Richard Feynman, Wheeler proposed a radical explanation. What if electrons and positrons are actually the same fundamental particle? I received a telephone call one day, from Professor Wheeler, in which he said, Feynman, I know why all electrons have the same charge and the same mass. Because they are all the same electron. Wheeler's idea was mind-blowing. He suggested that electrons travel not just through space, but also through time. Imagine the electron's journey as a knotted timeline, constantly looping back on itself. Each time the timeline intersects a specific point, it appears as a single electron. But when the timeline loops back, the electron's charge flips, essentially becoming a positron traveling backwards in time. This theory offers a captivating explanation for the electron's identical nature. However, it faces a major hurdle the imbalance of matter and antimatter in the universe. If electrons and positrons were the same particle, there should be roughly equal amounts of both. But in reality, antimatter is incredibly scarce. Wheeler's attempt to explain the missing positrons wasn't very convincing. While the one electron theory wasn't meant to be entirely serious, it sparked a fascinating thought experiment. Feynman, intrigued by the concept of time travel, explored the idea of positrons being electrons moving backward in time. While not a literal time machine, this concept helped us understand the behavior of antimatter and its connection to its matter counterpart. The theory of one electron might be a bit out there, but it highlights the strange and wonderful world of quantum mechanics. Scientists continue to explore the properties of electrons and other subatomic particles, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Who knows, maybe one day we'll unravel the true nature of these tiny time travelers. This is the Brain Maze, signing off.